Hi, everybody. It's me again. I'm Howard, and it's Friday. That means it's time for a Lounge Academy episode. Now, I'm very happy to be starting an episode, but I, I'm a little disappointed because I was, I was planning on rolling out some of my new inventions tonight. Um, so to, to give you guys an even more spectacular, an even more spectacular experience um, with lots of camera angles and special effects and all kinds of things. And, uh, but it, I, it's not quite ready yet. I set it all up, but it, it's not working. I'll give you a, a sneak peek of it, though, just to show you I'm not goofing off here at Lounge Academy. I'm working for your... How do you work this thing? There we go. This apparatus that you're looking at is uh, my brainchild. So it's blinking lights and stuff. It's still in development, but... Uh, I was working and actually rehearsing with it all week, but I can't get it to connect up to the internet properly right now. Um, so we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way with a single, single camera here, which I'm now checking on Facebook to see if even that modest technology, and it is, it's working great. I could see myself. So anyway, that's a, you guys see, that's a scoop. Nobody was hip. Nobody was hip to this new gear. That is, there's a lot more to it than this, than meets the eye. And uh, what it's, what it's gonna do is give us a remote experience here at, at the Buffalo's Historic Statler Hotel where we perform Lounge Academy every Fridays uh, as of the last 14 weeks or so. Prior to that, it was at our mansion, two doors down, the old house downtown, for, for many years, where we had uh, the main studio with lots of cameras and bringing you the, the reality of loungers having a ball and following along in their, their exploits and sex sexploits and drinking sports and lounge sports and it's it's great theater and uh you've come to know and love many of the lounge academy lounge cadets and this equipment will bring back that uh experience that the home cadets have gotten used to over the years um to be able to follow along and actually join uh people at, the, at their lounge tables as if you're here and all kinds of things like that. So doing things remotely is a little more difficult, and that's, that's why the new equipment uh, design, uh, which has been in the works for 12 weeks, and uh, it'll do what we, much of what we had back at the main studio, and even more, ladies and gentlemen, even more. That's right, that's what this, uh, vaudeville box was for Barbara Fisher. It's to hold and make it, at least I got to test moving the equipment <laughs> and setting it up. I got to test that uh, today, but uh, we, and it's glowing, but uh, by next week, I think for pretty confident we'll be at least breaking in some of the capabilities and introducing you. And it really, it's a lot of fun, you know, I, I built this thing. I'm, I'm sure there's there's none other like it in the world. I'm, I'm pretty confident of that. None, none I know of anyway. I took my own approach to the design. And it's it's really a complete it's a complete performance toolbox. There's all it's full of tools that I've never seen before because they didn't necessarily quite exist before. And I'm finding when I practice every day, 
I'm practicing with the gear. Um, cameras, you know, and and it's it's really uh, fun because um, you have to you have to create the ideas of what to do with these tools now. It it opens the door to to like all new kinds of ideas and things you can do. So. Now you might be wondering where everybody is. What I am doing tonight, though, a little bit differently, is I, instead of mounting the camera on a fixed, on a fixed uh, mechanism, I've got it on a, uh, a gimbal. So that we can move it around. We can. Uh, Flip it around to the other side, so it's kind of and this is where hopefully the lounge cadets will be uh, unfolding their real life drama for the home cadets. Now we already had Dave Corbett and his brother Robert from Washington State come through to say hello. They they came and left. Now, Gary Marino is up at the bar, and depending on the gender and other attributes of the particular bartender, he may stay up there a long time. Um, the, the, that, those factors determine how much time Gary Marino is going to spend up the red stairs in the lobby bar or down here with us. Either way, he always spends considerable time at our VIP cocktail tables. Um, Lizzie and Brenda are here, home favorites, and they're also up, up there. In fact, let's, let's go where the action is. Let's just see where the heck they are. I hear, I hear them, you know. Here they are. Here they are. See? Ah, I think I know why Gary's still at the bar. Yeah. Well, when they're prop, they're, you know, proper professional. Yeah. Um, you know, I go in and I go, my breaks are making noise. And he says. Because he loves women. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's Would you say nice a single friend? guy. He said that's right. Social life. Yeah, good. Guy, well dressed. Yeah. And manicured man gentlemen such as Marino should not disappoint the ladies. You know, I went in because my brakes were making noise, and he goes, got a stone in here. Marino, you got a new car, didn't you? Tomorrow. It looks like Mary's car. It's a Ford Fusion. Yeah, they're nice cars. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Can't wait to get it. Mary likes her. And it goes nice with my gray shirt. So I wonder if you got the same color. She's got that um, metallic gray. We'll have like a fleet. It'll be great. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Yeah, I don't blame you. Very comfortable. It's nice to see you, Brenda. Beautiful day. Come to the Statler. It's fun. It is. It's fun. And there, there, there are no large scheduled events tonight. So we we command the whole place. Yeah, it's all about Lounge Academy. That's right. I missed you last week. Well, we missed you. I, I think you tuned in and said hi, didn't you? I did. I always do. Well, I had... I'm very happy, but... Um, I'm, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm okay with it. I've, I've been working on rolling out new technology I've been working on for more than 12 weeks. And I actually brought it tonight and set it up, but it's, it's not, I couldn't get it to work. So um, I was going to at least have it doing some basic things to improve the show. 
you know, more cameras, all kinds of fun stuff. But uh, it's, I guess it'll be next week. But uh, if you don't get it finished by next week, my son's coming and have my birthday in September. Well, well, he'll really be confused when he gets a look at this thing. <laughs> he might end his career. Yeah. No. It'll be working next week. I had to work. I was rehearsing with it all week. Yeah. But it's a, it's a handful. Well, this show is not only about lounge standards. It's it's tech. Tech and talent. Many kinds of talent among the lounge population here. <laughs> See, there's some, some tips. Some whales are in our crowd. Our, our crowd is always good, good tippers. Yeah. See, a couple bucks going on the bar there. For the bar oh, yes. Is that about one of the whales in our group? Yes. Taking good care of the bartenders. That's great. <laughs> well, I'm going to start knocking out some uh, tunes. And, um, Sounds great. I'll be down Pretty soon right. we'll see you guys. Staffers, people will roll down their windows and uh, say, Man, I love your cat. <laughs> my father's going, Thank you, but I was driving. <laughs> well, maybe if they deliver your car, Marino, you'll be able to drive down and join us down at the piano yeah. yeah, well, park. But, but, you know, as soon as it gets no, here, no rush. You, 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 you know, yeah. Oh. Uh, see, that, that was a hint that I was given, Marino. I'm descending the red stairway into the lobby here at Buffalo's historic Statler. Sometimes you gotta corral your your cadets. You gotta like go around like they're you know, like you're on Bonanza. You gotta round round them up. We need little Joe and Hoss. Uh, I'm looking teary-eyed at my baby down here, but um, at least it's with me. Hi, Alex Leonard. It is very sophisticated, Barbara Fisher. Alex Leonard's here. I better start playing. Wait, I'll get out. Here we go. I think, do I? I don't know where to put this. I was planning on using the sophisticated equipment that Barbara's alluding to down here. Oh, look at this. Amazing how these situations just present themselves. Look at this. This is a great place to put it. I'm also sticking you guys with just the cell phone microphone instead of our external one. You know what? I think I have to... I want you guys to come with me while I use my authorization here. We're, we're going to make sure the sound system is off. I'm allowed to do that. I feel pretty important. I have access to the security apparatus, at least some of it, the lounge part. See that? This is the Statler security apparatus. And this finger can not only create music, but it can kill the music that comes through the speakers at the Statler. I'm going to shield the code from you people so that you're not burdened with the responsibility of knowing it. This will give you plausible denial. Okay, that's that, just like that. And if you like, we could visit the fish.
I'm not too too good at it. There we go. There's the fish. I'm not used to this gimbal. Trying to keep them entertained. It's a beautiful day out here, as you can see out the uh, beautiful entrance of the historic Statler. The revolving doors, you can see them spinning like a high speed turbine with fans coming in for the show. See that? Guy walk, just walked in. Okay. You've been witnessing what we call the sausage making show business. Russian wedding. Frank de Cesare, wonderful to see you, sir. All the pros stop in. That's what I love about an all show business audience like this. Filmmakers, cabaret pianists, they're all out there tuning in. Now, if we could just get a real audience. But you guys are more fun. Because you understand the pain of the creative process. I see the, the viewership is skyrocketing to six. Welcome, everybody. My name's Howard, and you are relaxing at Lounge Academy. It'll be a little less relaxing in a little while when the lounge cadets descend the red stairs from, the, from Statler's Lobby Bar and take their proper places at the cocktail tables that have been set up in piano bar fashion, where they will start to spill the beans on their personal lives and their personal lounging in good reality TV show fashion after having a couple of drinks, all for your entertainment and education and culture, and also so you pay less attention to what I'm doing. Sneaky, huh? see Richie Sellers, I think, under that mask. Could be. It's Richie the Blues Man. Look at this. This is see that? See how these blue guys operate? <laughs> we do. They're just throwing money at me as soon as they come in. in my wallet. Look at them. Well, wow, thank you. Thank you so much. That's it. You guys are wonderful. Next week I'll be seeing you from Chicago. Wow, Chicago. My grandchildren. Oh, nice. And we we'll drive out there. I tuned up my car by myself. Just like the old days at Suburban. It's not though. I mean, like, 
there's like blocks and pull off the plugs and these coils. Oh yeah, I know, I know. What's going on? I said, I'm not sure one of these cars, if I get into trouble, it's going to be bugged. Yeah. I guess I got to be real gentle. You got to try. I'm okay. Just got like my front end, something's scraping on the right brake. I don't know what's going on. I'm taking it in on the mm. Maybe, uh, maybe the uh, brake shoe is low, and it might be the warning piece of metal rubbing against the rotor. That's nothing. No, just pads. If that's it. Maybe pads. Did you pads last I put pads on your car. Well, that was a few years ago. I did it. Oh, that was last year. What was it? Pretty sure. Well, I use really cheap pads. They don't last very long. I took them off my car. Yeah, that's <laughs> Make yourselves at home, right? Well, you know where you are. You're at the VIP table for the high rollers. Look at you guys. See that? Barbara Fisher. Yeah, well, it depends, you know, some people we encourage masks more than others, Barbara Fisher. Yeah. There we go, look at this, we fit everybody into the shop. It's this phone to read the comments. But I'm seeing like a really old rerun. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I can read your comments. Smart too. 
Pigs are supposed to be very intelligent. Chickens. They smell? You really can smell the pigs? Yeah. Was it the pigs or like they're, you know, they're slop? What is slop anyway? The stuff they feed. They call it the, oh, the food is called the slop. I'm a city boy, I guess. So I knew Richie would know. Because he knows horses and somehow I figured they would translate. What is it like corn and it's like the chickens are the worst though. The chickens are really? They yeah. smell? The chickens are the smelliest animals. Wow. See, you learn a lot. That's why it's good that we're, we're exposed to. Marty busy. Sunday's the last day of the Erie County Fair. I believe it's the largest county fair in the, like, in the universe. And you know why? Because they've got a man named Marty Vinias, who who's like the spokesman, the PR guy for it. And he really uh, sells it, makes it exciting and fun. Because he's exciting and fun. He's a lounge cadet, of course. Speaking of people who are somebody, Audrey Clark says, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Audrey Clark is the founding member and president of the Jackie Jocko fan club that she founded in the 1950s. What a group that was. You should see these girls. She showed me the uh, photo album from the, the old days. Boy, they had fun with Jocko. These women were fabulous. And they love Jocko. And he loved them. Maybe I'll start a fan club for me someday. It's a hard guy named you know, Bruce Lee. You know, um, tough guys, yeah. It used to be considered when I was when I was little, people made fun of it because um, it was considered kind of a sissy name. But uh, I don't use it a Bruce, you know, Bruce Lee, you know. There's a lot of changes in First of all, now, people don't go there anymore. But all these like action figure guys came out with the name Bruce. You know? Yeah. Bruce Jenner, you know, Bruce Lee, 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 He's an older guy. He's an actor who's very, very much. His name is Bruce. Bruce Willis. Yeah. So people stop making fun of him the name Bruce, and I, I wear it probably now, which I would anyway.
this one. This was a good idea, but. We're spinning you guys around just to keep you awake. Wee it's like an amusement. It's not just a lounge piano bar. It's an it's an amusement ride. We, okay. Well. That's, that's, using our plan B equipment tonight. <laughs> fingermanship for the home audience. Now that we've shown off the cadetmanship. So 
many great songs. Here's one we haven't done in weeks. I notice there's a difference between dogs and cats. Anecdotally, I've had a dog and a cat in my lifetime. And I notice the uh, dogs, when they sleep, they have they dream. Dogs must have very vivid dreams, like they like they're chasing like other dogs or something, or rabbits, or turkeys, and, and you can see them running, right? You know, you know they're having like a, an intense dream. Richard Creamy might know something about this. He knows something about everything. But you notice that Richie Sellers? Just something I've noticed, the difference between, the difference between dogs and cats. We're back, sort of an animal theme tonight. The dogs, they have like vivid dreams. Right. And you can see them like running in their sleep, right? Yeah, yeah. And they kick me, he kicks me in the back. The dog kicks you in his yeah. sleep. Yeah. 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 Uh, they're chasing something. Or running away from us or something. No, he's chasing rabbits. Chasing rabbits. The major phenotypical aspect is the cat has an anticlinal vertebra, which can bend very easily. The An dog does not have anti-clinal vertebrae. Anti That's great, Richie. Did you make that up or is it it's true? It's probably true. Richie doesn't make so stuff up. He doesn't have to. Cats get out of their spines like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Now, cats, I've never seen my cat. I don't think I've ever seen my cat having a vivid dream to where he's like. You know, where you have a, like, like rapid leg syndrome or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, or where, you, where you've got crazy leg when you're sleeping. They've got, they got a name for that now. Like they sell stuff late at night for it, which is a good time to be, to be advertising something for, for sleep. Restless leg syndrome. The dogs seem to have restless leg syndrome when they're sleeping. But the cats just the leopard will be a wolf up down It's always funny Yeah, I mean unless the wolf gets a good first grab. You know? Because those things, man, they're fast. Yeah, cats are I think you're right. I'd probably I'd Last night I dreamt I was chasing rabbits. I had the craziest dream. That's quite a lead, wasn't it? Yes, I did. I never thought it would be. In love with me, I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them. You didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break never happened.
enjoy your fish fries. I saw your lips next to mine. So I kissed them. You didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How can a guy go on dreaming? They even have something on the menu for that. It's it's a cheese, a cheese and mead meat uh, board. You get, you get a wooden board. Beautiful. You, you can't take it home. I don't. I don't think. Um, but you can enjoy it while you're eating the cheese and meat off the board. And you, you could gnaw on the wood if you want. Assorted breads. Now, my favorite is the lobby burger. It, now, this this is just a downtown. Yeah, it's it, Marino endorses it. And you know, it chicken fingers and French fries, which you can't go wrong. I mean, they serve like real real stuff. What about the black and blue burger? I was afraid they're going to make me black and blue. But you know, for downtown, the lobby burger is not, uh, it's actually inexpensive. I, 
Burgers are pushed downtown. Burgers, I'm trying. They they push twenty bucks now. Downtown prices. Yeah. And this is only fifteen bucks, and you get uh, you get a. It's a big deal when they you get like. Uh, it's basically a mountain. They they come over and serve you. Um, I don't. I don't think so. I think you got to be. They'll deliver. They'll bring it out here. They'll deliver it down here from the lobby bar, which is a good hundred feet away. And then they have the strawberry salad. In case you're meatless on a Friday. And gelato desserts. And these these items can be ordered. Uh, you can ask your favorite bartender to, to make arrangements for you to have one of these made right right here in the Statler kitchen. As chefs that know how to feed 500 people at a big fancy banquet, they're the real deal. Show business hazards, of which there are many. Descending the next stairs. She's really the. Uh, she's really the Im image of sophistication and style. Coleman request, Marino requested this uh, several months ago because of COVID and supply interruptions. Uh, this request is just coming through now. I'm sentimental, so I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. Even Marino can't explain. I'll start for the corner, turn up in Spain. Do I try to change me now? I'll sit and I'll be free. I've got daydreams for cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends. Leave the keys in the door. I try to change me now. Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me. Cause I can't see 
my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by. So let people wonder. Let them laugh, let them frown. You know I love you. Till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember? I was always your queen. Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me now? Thank you, Maria. That was a great request. I do too. It's a great time. Yes, sir. Best compliment you can get. He said, never stop doing that song. You could tell, tell he's a pro because he said, doing the song. Right? Where? Well, most people would say, never, never stop singing that, performing that song. Marino said it like a pro, because he is a pro, he said, never stop doing that song. Which means the other guy didn't do so good. Yeah. 
Hopkins. And all in New York, that's just a beautiful place. Anybody would like that. It's not because those are show themes or CD themes or anything. It's because the high rollers have their own songs. So you got to you got to play them in. Carolyn goes in. And you got to have these ready. You can watch. prosecuting somebody but he's having a beer. Things starting to get back, Steve? Paul? Yep. Things 
starting to get back to normal at all? Schedule wise? And We're starting to get back to abnormal. Get back to abnormal. Good. Great. I get, I get yeah. That's another great Keeley. We were doing Ruby Keeler. Ke Keeley Smith. Um, where, where was she born? She used to come up to Evie Green. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, he, he told me after she was Wow. Wow. She was fantastic. Boy, was she funny. Oh, she was beautiful. No, not Oklahoma. No. She was in an Indian background. Oh, I don't know. Right, that's right. But yeah, she was. I think she was. She was, uh... Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm being deposed. No, you don't. Keely Smith was born in... Uh, I've been deposed, and you don't feel like you're being deposed. Keely Smith was born in Norfolk, uh, Virginia. Oh. Fun fact. Yeah, that's good. Remember that, Paul. Paul's on. A brain trust for this, all this information. Oh, I, I did hear the story of how she came to see him at a show, and then somehow he caught up on stage. She sang, and then they, yeah, I, I think part of the act. Yeah, yeah. They were, oh, they were so much fun. That. Um, that, that act they had, you know, where she was like, she had like resting bitch face. Yes. And he's like a complete nut, you know, and it was just, it really worked. Hysterical. This is what these clients say when they're, when they're hoping things turn out all right. Pick up the pieces when somebody breaks your heart. Somebody twice as smart, twice as smart as I. Somebody who where to be true like you used to do with me even to work that misery loves company Ooh, I want to be around to see how she does it when she breaks your heart to bits Let's see how that puzzle fits Oh, so fine That's when I'll discover That revenge is sweet Sitting there pointing from that front row seat When somebody breaks your heart Like you broke mine Johnny Mercer and Sadie Vimmerstedt. Sadie Vimmerstedt. Are you familiar with that person? Sadie v Vimmerstedt. I never, yeah. Well, Johnny Mercer, they said he'd, he'd, write, with, he'd write with anybody that uh, so wound up with some, you know, talented people because he wasn't stuck up. Bailed 
He's really fun. Steve's hiding behind the station. Yeah, she's just at that level. There's no good camera angles. Here's one for Dr. Fauci. I've got you under my skin. Steve was paying attention. He doesn't miss anything. He's got 300, 360 degree full situational awareness. Deep in the heart of me. It's amazing. Deep in my heart. You're really a part of me. I've got you. Under my skin. Sure does. Here's who is new bachelorhood. We'll have to have a bachelor party for him. He'll beat somebody. Who wouldn't want the world's richest man? Of course, that would be you on Musk right now. <laughs> Yeah. But why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well? I got you under my skin. I'd sacrifice anything, how much might, for the sake of having you near. In spite of the warning voice, comes in the night and repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Use your mentality, wake up to reality. Each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. I've got you, Ooh, I've got you, under my skin, subcutaneously, Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole Porter, Carolyn likes that one, I can tell. Thank you, Brenda. It's a um, LB grapefruit. Um, none, none, of course. Is there a wider angle out of the other side? I should have used the wide angle camera tonight. I was going to have this full rig. With, oh, this is a wider angle. Yeah, yeah, Windows 10. It's like a oh, whole. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is like a complete. You could go to the moon with this thing and do live streaming. It does a lot of stuff, except that that's not doing anything tonight, but it will. Maybe we could get me in this shot. Is this a wide enough angle? Oh yeah, now we're talking.
Oh, it falls on the floor. We just keep working for the for the audience so they can have the best Lounge Academy experience as possible. I find I get up more in the middle of the night than I used to when I was younger. So I could always tell my mic levels, I have to hear my jokes or not. Correct the, uh... This is my, my, now you can hear my jokes better. that smattering of applause. It means people are comfortable when they do a smattering of applause. They, they feel informal. That's good. Yeah, what do you got? Oh, what a great one. Isn't it romantic? Such a night like this.
had lost its charm. How long I wondered, can this thing last? The age of miracles had come and passed. When suddenly I saw you there in a foggy London town, the sun was shining. From damsels in distress. Yeah. 1937. I do not know that one. Probably, I probably heard him do it for sure. I, I don't know. Associate. The title to this one. People. Music by Sasha Ditzel, lyric by Jack Reardon, and Jean Rossol. It's yeah, is that, I wonder who really wrote it. Right? Selene is here, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you, Selene. From the show. Or B side. Wow. Just climbed on its own merits. Yeah. 
So you can never be too organized. And I'm living proof of that. I make my own notebooks. Find a song for somebody. I do my best 
obey all your wishes. I put a sign up thinking. I gotta buy a, a new set of dishes. Or wash the one held in the sink. Nothing else to tell you, dear, except each day seems like a year. Every night I'm thinking of you. P.S. I love you. Tony Mercer, Gordon Jenkins. Thank you, Brenda. He worked with everybody. Is that right? That's for you.
backwards now. I'm going to say who wrote it and Paul Capote is going to tell me what the song is. Stanley Adams and Maria Grutter. What a difference a day made. Brought the sand of flowers where there used to be rain. My yesterday moved here. Today I'm part of you, dear. All my lonely nights I flew here. What a difference a day makes There's a rainbow before me Skies above can be stormy Since that moment of bliss Oh yeah, yeah, yeah It's heaven when you Find romance on your menu. What a difference a day makes, and the difference is you. Oh yeah. Oh that difference. That difference a day makes you. Oh Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. I've been trying to do Brenda's song all night, but I can't find it. Fisher is saying hi to her old friend Barry. That's the beautiful thing about the lounge. It's a hub where new and old friends can just always count on each other. Once I lived the life of a millionaire Spent all my money, didn't have any care Took all my friends out for a really great time We bought food leg liquor Champagne and wine. Then I began to fall. Lost all my good friends, nowhere to go. If I could get my hands on that tower again, I'd hang on to it. Yes. 
for friends, guess what? You don't have any. When get back on your feet again. Everybody wants to be your one lost friend. I said it straight without any doubt. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. When you're down and out. I don't know, it's a great song. Who wrote it? Whoever wrote it was one of those saloons. Yeah, Jimmy Cox. C O X. Words and music by Jimmy Cox. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta look that guy up. Yeah. He's got some chops. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. I always feel like I have somebody I could turn to. Coincidence. 
funny is you would say you would play that. I think we'll I think we'll imagine. the music stand. This really is the days of wine and roses, Richie. We're going to look back on this summer in a few months when we're all screwed. We're going to go. The day a child to play in the meadow and toward a closing door a door marked never more that wasn't there before from the Bible. Hope it's copyrighted. Well, I don't doubt that, Marino.
decade before that, Cody Carmichael wrote the same name. Right. And, uh, you know, I guess the law is a lot of Yeah, the names I understand. Well, I understand there's no copyright on the name, on the title. Yeah, That's what Mary told anyway, me. Of course, guess who knew both of them? The player of the game. He used to do that. It's a good idea. Summer, right? The dog days. The dog days of summer.
Big finish. Carol liked that big finish. Glad it didn't go to waste. Thanks, everybody. We'll get some. Get a little epilogue. I have a beautiful double album of Dinah Washington, the jazz side, where she, she was a Whit Kelly and a bunch of other pianists. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's really good. She's a wonderful singer, Dinah Washington. Oh, yeah, she was. Wonderful. We she was. Just I mean, if she would have. She would have. Underrated yeah. as far as the jazz yeah. industry. She should be mentioned alongside Ella Fitzgerald Ella. and Sarah Vaughn. And yep. with her. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Just as good, if not better. Okay. She's the one that she insulted the queen. What did she do? What did she do? Something, somehow she was in the, 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 the line. Yeah. Oh. The line to be introduced really? to the queen. Who wouldn't want to be introduced to Dinah Washington? But then she goes. Uh, the greatest singer. You know, the queen, you know, and she's yes. supposed to curtsy you. I had no idea of this. And she said, uh, there's Washington only, the I'm sorry, queen. sorry, there's only one queen. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I looked at I guess you, you got to like pull the jokes when you're meeting the queen. Uh, oh. I bet the queen loved that. Who would love me? Well, the queen probably didn't know how the great. Yeah, yes. Yeah, how do you know her? Yeah, that's right. Everybody's on their devices, tuning into Lounge Academy. Yes, tuning into Lounge Academy and ordering chicken wings for us. And, and what was that, Lizzie? I said ordered chicken wings from from uh, King Wings. Wow, are you going to bring those over to? Uh, yeah, Gary's house. Oh, yes. oh, good move. Chicken, chicken nuggets type things. Yeah. If it takes me a while to like unpack. That's okay. It's Twenty minutes before. Squirrel I some already. away. I just ordered. You got my back, right? What? Ryan's Ryan. going to go to the after party. Oh, am I being recorded? <laughs> Yeah, yes, well, I'm yeah. going. Great, great. That's one of the things I like about show business is that I get to have an after party, like the big, <laughs> like like Sammy Davis Jr. and yeah. those guys. The Rat Pack. Yeah, the Rat Pack. And yeah. I'm the Rat. <laughs> and I'm the Pack. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Well, thanks for throwing me the after party, everybody. No it's the least I can do as a rodent. I watched the races today. I'm actually going for the last race on Labor Day. Why wouldn't you? Of course, I've got to. I've been there lots of times. Why wouldn't you? That's great. Oh, this has been so great. I'm a friend. It was a nice well, night. Beautiful night. It really felt like summer. It was so warm and oh, it is. sweaty. <laughs> it is summer, Howard. <laughs> yeah. And it's not snowing, so it's wonderful. <laughs> i got to start doing some more summery things, you know, like take classic car out for a ride and oh, yeah. dig a little more in the garden because, you know, Absolutely. It, it goes so quickly. We you got to do those things. Yes. Or, or yes, absolutely. Our summers are so short here in Buffalo. We have to take advantage of the beauty when we Yes. Can. We do. That, yeah, make, that makes us dive in yes. quickly. Yes. Thank you, Selena. Appreciate the, appreciate the applause. One of these weeks I'll be able to have you on the show through uh, our electronics once I get all that together. Yeah, I was all psyched. You know, I thought I was going to break break this equipment in tonight to give you the home cadets a heightened, a heightened experience. But um, it wasn't to be. But at least, at least I got the equipment here and set it up. Writing songs. As they're talking to people like Jacko did? Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. I can, I can get came a into being that are now just part of our existence. Oh. So what's his name? Uh, who wrote uh, Route 66? Oh, I always oh, forget that was, uh, 
Sure. Oh, was that Bobby Troop? Bobby Troop, yeah. Oh, he was a genius. I never knew before I knew these people. Yeah. He's a genius at doing that. Yeah, he's he's talented dude. And the other one, he, he, he had to be his pal out on the West Coast. Uh, who wrote Angel Eyes? Who wrote Angel Eyes? I never. Oh, that was um, Matt Dennis. Matt Dennis. Those were two of a kind. Matt Dennis and Bobby oh, Matt Dennis. Well, you know, they were both like true like lounge pianists. They yep. they play, you know. Howard's got they, love, they love playing, you know, for small crowds. <laughs> You know, in, in in an environment just like this, they would have been right at home, but, but most could, at home. They could sense the words came came out of their head as they were talking to people. You know, I mean, because they had such a feeling for the situation. I mean, you know how uh, Word Sixty Six was written. No, no, Bobby True was going across the country with his wife at that time. Oh, and he was following his wife at that time. Well, it was, you know, uh, Julie London became the second wife. Yes, that's right. So this is the first wife? Yeah. But imagine being included out by but Julie London. That must have been when she was oh, married yeah. to Jack <laughs> Webb. So, yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. she was. Yes, she was. Jack <laughs> Webb was a... Jack I have to dispense my too. knowledge whenever I have the opportunity. Jack Webb was a... Pete Kelly's Blues. Did you ever see that? Oh, no. No. But I will. Oh. It's a must. If you okay. like jazz. I do like jazz. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't return until you see Pete Kelly's blues. <laughs> Don't return. <laughs> we'll both no, be on YouTube watching. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Our homework. Oh, you'll love it, though. Ellen yeah. is in What's there. What's it called? Pete Kelly's blues. Pete Kelly's Put blues. Jack Webb. That was, his, that, was his, uh, that was his movie. That was his movie. Pete Kelly's blues. But there were a half a dozen jazz breaks in there. Yeah, oh, I'll have to watch that. Yeah. Howard and I have been watching some documentaries. We watched some on Jolson. Uh -huh. And um, we watched one on Jimmy Durant. <laughs> Just these old yeah, vaudeville he, entertainers. He had such a, he has, it was he, fun. He was we, such we, a we, we like watching vaudeville things. You know, things on showmen. It doesn't always have to be a great jazz thing. It's just a, a show business. Things on Judy Garland. Oh, it's fun to watch was, these old things. So and watch, oh, we've well, been watching things on Busby Berkeley. <laughs> and the old Barkley. Yeah, those old musicals <laughs> from the thirties. Busby Berkeley yeah, musicals. Wow. Those, that was interesting. Yeah, I love watching Busby Berkeley. Of course you get to see all those showgirls too. Yeah, they all the, all the showgirls. No, no. You get to see Kelly Ginger Berkeley Rogers when she was like sixteen. Yeah. A, a, a good one. It's not just the same story. Yeah, yeah, Ruby Keeler. Shuffle off to Buffalo. People can't oh, yeah. tap dance like they used to. Uh, yeah, that was Harry Warren. Yeah, she was, did that song. Shuffle off the Buffalo. Buffalo. And then you got the young Ginger Rogers, who's about 16, and she's placed one of the jaded women sitting in the train eating bananas in the restaurant. And as far as we know, that'll be on her way to Reno. Is that perfect? Buffalo. Oh, it's really funny. The whole scene no, was that, on the train and Ginger Rogers. It's real. Was that an L. Dubin? Oh, oh my gosh. It is funny. As far as we know, we'll be on her way to Reno. Was that an L. Dubin lyric? I think so. Yeah. I think so. He was, he was, he I was think a Harry was Warren. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Man, that was fun. Guy, and it's held up, you know? It's yeah. really cute. And the way they're dancing and everyone's watching them on the train. And, yeah, they're the newlyweds. Oh, it's fun. Part yeah. of it's American history. You simply don't get lyrics like that anymore. Yeah, I know. Thank you for I know, but all these people, just these different stars, future stars, and everything, all taking part in this thing. Yeah, Lance of Voice, everybody in this thing, and just doing this show. It's really it's, 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 yeah, it's fun how it is. Yeah, how it is. Yeah, get it together. You know what I was watching a while ago? Those old Shirley Temple movies are really oh, funny. I love that. Well, got her with it. She's dancing with these old Bordeaux guys. Yeah. And she's like, Who's the, the blind gentleman to dance with? It? One of the great dancers. Oh, was a partner oh, with her. Now I can't remember his name. The brothers? One of the brothers? No, remember uh, remember yeah. the guys in... Uh, oh, the Nicholas. Nicholas it wasn't brothers. one of them, I don't think. It was another one. But Those guys absolutely danced. Great. They danced they up the them. wall like that. Yeah. yeah. Remember? Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Treacher, the British guy. Was in, uh, uh, but the great old show business thing where she would dance and they would sing and do all these things. And just a great artist, oh. you know? You know, like, what I give credit is... Uh, that, that's the going thing. It was the, the thing at the time. Sinatra wouldn't learn how to dance. You know, oh, Kate Kelly talks. Yeah, from these. You know, from the couple of the old. Uh, oh, the Nicholas? 
No, no. Um, I can't remember anything. Oh, yeah. No. New York. New York. New York. It's a wonderful thing. Boxes on Saturday. Oh, no, my parents used to sing that all the time. The Bronx is. But that's right. That's, that's the one he, he, that was he did with. That was the first time. He did with uh, Gene Kelly. Oh, yes. Yes, and, that's right. And, uh, I love that. And he song. learned how to dance. Yes. And, and when the three oh, were wow. dancing once, he didn't right. stand out as a, as a dope. Yes. I mean, he, he, wow, so he went good. along with the group. But oh, I that's watched the that when I was a kid. My I mean, parents has showed us so that movie. Talent. I remember the, the, the one on the, on the town in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the, a the, wonderful town. The Bronx is. That's the oh, musical I was trying to come up with. Oh, that first time. It was good. Yeah. Actually, there's a. <laughs> oh, my parents would be there is a really sensational fun. song <laughs> buried in that music. I love I'll it. come up with it. I'll tell you. And the usual New York, New York song. When I was growing up, I was like, well, I like the other one. New York, New York, a wonderful town. <laughs> A hole in the ground. Are you going over to Gary's? Yes. Okay, we'll see you there. Oh, boy. Be there eventually. See you around. We'll see you there. I wish I could have planned ahead on this Gary's thing. I've got a little bit of a. i got to see someone. Well, we'll catch you next time. All right, yeah. I think I'm here. I better pass. Yeah. Because uh, I'll be going out of the way. Yeah. Back. yeah. Great idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of the time, just for future reference, when he's here, a lot of the time we end up that he, he does do this. Yeah. A lot of the time. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah. He yeah, loves the party. We've done a few yeah. parties. And I've been to a few. Yeah, of yeah, oh, they're, they're fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of See, that's what I want to do. I want to do that too. I want to do that too. Let's all make up something. I know. Like, <laughs> this is already ready. Yeah, oh, so we, really. get the, we get the, just to the after party. I need to get my glove Oh, your patio. I don't have a piano. Oh, you can walk again. This isn't yours, is it, Howard? No, it's not. I remember when I told you why. It looks like a nice one. It is. It's a nice piano. Yeah. Yeah. Because they reminded me of my house. I mean, it's got the, the classic look. Anyway. Yeah, no, it is. And it's, it's got a venerable old buffalo name, even though it's trying to block the name. But yeah. it's a, it's a, Kurtzman is the name. And I don't know that one. No. They, 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 they built pianos right on Niagara Street, like within walking distance from here. Yeah, and they're, they're nuts, pianos. Oh, if this goes back to Stanley, you would have bought something from something. Yeah, this doesn't, though. This is, this is a new Chinese. You need to get a piano. Yeah. Chinese piano. You'd be surprised. You know what's funny? My piano. It's a nice piano, but it's, it's they it's they you know they nice saw the value in the old Kurtzman name. They considered it. Yeah, they bought it and wound up and being sold in Buffalo. Yeah. Here. In fact, it says Buffalo on it. When I bought it, I lived in this place on Delaware Avenue. Yeah. 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 An older house from the one I have now. It was built in 1900, and I could see what they meant by the apartment size piano because the piano. Fit in yeah. really well in this huge old place that I see. Yes, and this new house, my house was built in 1917. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more modern. I mean, the ceilings the are not quite as high. They're high, but not as. Yeah, they, 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 that's yeah. about that. So yeah. the, the piano really takes up a lot more room than it did. And the other thing, because the other one was its era, you know, 1985. Of course, not I planned. That's why. 73. Uh, yeah, if you were just going to get a piano, but think. I, you know, think. You know, I mean, if you get one, it's not a bad investment. You, you know, people will play the piano, and people, but other people do. I know. And you come it. over, and you got your home entertainment. Meanwhile, you got a beautiful piece of furniture. It's in your house. I mean, it's very New Orleans, as I said, to have a piano in your house and stuff. That's what they all do. Everyone always had a piano. It is a cool, a beautiful piece of furniture. You can really just watch the ads if you ever see yeah. one. 
I'll watch it too. And if we yeah. see what's going on. Oh, we can find you, you have, piano. You yeah, we can find you, you a piano. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You no, don't have to. You can get them I buy, I buy great grand And they're pianos beautiful. And maybe they take up a lot of room, but so what? The, I mean, the spotlight is even more on them, and they're the most beautiful. Well, I have a thing pretty open have. floor plan, but you'd have to see my house first. And then you start taking lessons yourself, Miss Ray. And you'd be surprised. I could, well, you can start playing a little bit. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, too. Good night, Paul. No, he's not going. Yeah. I ordered chicken wings. That's great, Lizzie. Oh, wow. Lizzie ordered chicken fingers for my after party. I can't eat it because it's Friday, but I don't have to eat. <laughs> I don't eat anymore. <laughs> she's losing. Look how skinny she's getting. Okay. Okay, I think I'll bring some wine over. We'll bring the drugs. Bring the drugs. Okay. All right. I'm not driving, so I'm driving. Brenda's with, down with it. They're so nice. I'm so glad for you. Ladies and gentlemen, right, my, uh, my menu commercial worked tonight. I, I pitched the menu and people started ordering food. I gotta pack up. Yeah, it's gonna take me a few minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring stuff back. Okay. Squirrel wave some chicken nuggets if I'm not there right, right away. Now she'll be here with me helping me. Oh, okay. I'll help you. Here's the rig. Yeah, we're fine. Here's the rig. I set up for nothing, Mary. Although it was good practice setting it up, but I couldn't get it to connect. I keep seeing this camera in my face. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> well, thanks everybody. Let me uh, set down these Statler menus that have. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. Uh, Howard and Mary signing off here at the Statler. Lights are starting to flicker. They must have. Steve must have just electrocuted somebody. <laughs> So we'll see you next week and uh, for more music, more cadets, more gear, more camera angles, <laughs> and uh, best of all, more lounge cadet drama, cadet real life unfolding right in the lounge. Maybe we'll Classic send you song. some footage from the after party. We should do that. We will. We'll broadcast Does the home again. audience like me to do that? They said yes. Okay. They said yes. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody.